Hey guys, what's up? It's Assassin here today, and I'm going to be doing a little bit of a look through on the new Apocalypse Warzone book for Damnos. For all of you who don't know, Damnos is an ice planet that is in the Talisar system, which is Kato Sicarius' like, uh, home area, uh, who's a captain of the second company, and it was his first loss there when they originally encountered the Necrons. You can read about well, you have a uh, quick summary of it in the last codex that came out before, or you can read Fall of Damnos, which describes uh, the battles that happened around Kellen Kellenport, Phantos Hill, which involved Librarian Tigris, Captain Sicarius, and the first company, Dreadnought Agrippian. Um, but anyway, that's enough about the old thing. Uh, Damnos, the Apocalypse Warzone, is actually detailing um, different scenarios and stuff that you can use. Um, like apocalypse games or smaller games to the events leading up to the Damnos retaking or the ones afterwards. Um, so basically it's an apocalypse war zone book. So we'll just go into it here. And as you can see, we've just got like a little uh, Captain Sicarius and the Undying. Um, the Undying was like the leading... I forget their names, so I'm just going to call it Pharaoh. And then you've got Sicarius with Tempest Blade and the Plasmagon. Um, a lot of the artwork in here is kind of repeated stuff, which is a little disappointing, but um, overall I still like it. Um, this is a new photo, it just shows um, basically a whole bunch of first companies. So you've got Marnius Cowguard as a chapter on a guard, you've got the Librarian, which is a task force in its own. You've got the first company, um, Marnius Cowguard's Command Land Raider, Centurions, Vanguard, um, Thunderhawk, a whole bunch of random shit. So like I was saying, you get a whole bunch of repeated uh, artwork. It's okay, but there are some new ones. Like this one here is a color print of the starting one. And it basically just says, it's a lot of the stuff, if it comes up in here, is just repeated information. And then they kind of go through in a little bit more elaborate detail. Um, I won't go through all of this. You guys will probably read it if you want to read it yourself. But this here, the uh, first page is really just... Uh, Going through how there was ice storms, Imperial Guard died by Necrons when there was some earthquakes and it awoke the uh, tomb slumber. Um, and then the second page is basically what happens when the Space Marines arrive and how they get out of the planet and they basically keep everyone alive. Um, Sicarius takes a fatal wound from the Undying. Um, Agrippian gets blown up. A whole bunch of shit. Uh, Anto and sorry, Antaro Cronus is a land raider. He commandeers when they retake the planet of Marnius Kalgar after his other land raider gets destroyed. What's the one for last cannons? I forget what it is. Anyway, moving on. Um, now this one, this page here, from what I remember, is basically just saying how. Um, since the Necrons took the planet, there was a whole bunch of rumors that went through. So the High Lords of Terror basically are deciding that the. Marnius Kalgar needs to retake the planet at all costs um, and basically obliterate any trace of Necrons having a victory there. Um, and they asked, instead of assigning, like, um, oh, what are they? Not Inquisition, the smaller guys, um, to go and basically tell Marnius Kalgar to do this, they assign a highly advanced, uh, tef sorry. Death Watch team um, to go and tell Marnius Kalgar to do it, and they will be helping out on the mission. And one of those leaders, the captain, I believe, is actually an old friend of Sicarius, um, who goes and meets with him and gives him a special vortex grenade, which comes up later on. Um, this here is basically saying after all of, um, cause obviously what happened is the first, third, fifth, fourth and second company, they all come along on this mission and when they get to planet side, um, they hide behind some asteroids, send down some fake drop pods and then I won't go into it. It's a cool read, but you guys should really read it for yourself instead of having me summarize it. Um, and then... It just goes through basically the battle plan of all the space marines in that. It's really cool. Um, there is actually two stories I really like in here, considering I love my ultramarines, and my two favorite characters are Captain Sicarius is number one and Marnius Kalgar is number two. 
And what basically happens is Manius Kalgar turns a pile on on its side and gets it to face it at a Catan shielding device, blows it up and basically destroys a whole heap of monoliths with just brute force. Um, another repeated piece of artwork, which is really cool, in my opinion. And then basically towards the end, this is where it ends all of like information section, and this here is just uh, battle reports and stuff, but I'll go into that in a moment. And Sicarius basically kind of saves the day from the Catan God by throwing a vortex grenade at the Catan God that was freed by Marnius Kalgar. Um, so they both do their own really, really cool thing, and that comes up a little later on on special abilities and battle reports. So we have a fold-out one here. This is basically the first battle report. This details what side the Necrons have, what um, side the Ultramarines have. And you have a little cool little fold-out thing, and I'll try and move my camera so you guys can have a bit, bit better view. It's all full colour, which is good. And it just shows you both, you both sides and the deployment and everything. And then you basically just got um, a few pieces of story, the characters are involved. Some more pictures of the latest infantry. Um, Necrons. Then you go down to the traits of the war zone, basically all the rules engagements, stuff that is specific to the Apocalypse war zone for Damnos. Um, all of these here only affect Necrons as a benefit. Mm, Imperial, sorry, Imperials don't really get any benefits at the moment. Um, but the first one, I can't remember what it was. The first report is just the ending fight, the big ass like apocalypse battle for it, um, which is all of that. But then you go back to the first part where Captain Sa Kato Sakaris gets basically is fallen, and then you have to withdraw to Kellenport and evacuate, which is just a uh, prequel to it. And then you have Planet 4, which is a star of. Minus Kaga taking back the planet, and then you got the Wrath of Catan, which is basically the very end. Um, you have a few little key cards here, which are just specific to it. Um, and then you have Finest Hours. Basically, this here is what you get for different um, special characters. So, Minus Kaga, he does the thing where he turns a pylon around, and he gets special ability for that. Basically, he gets Fleet Rule, and his strength becomes 5 or 10 when you use the Gauntlets. Um, that can be used when you make the finest hour rule on a mission. Captain Cicada Sakaris gets his own one because he did the Vortex Grenade. Um, he gets Weapon Skill and Ballistic Skill 10 for the turn and receives a Vortex Grenade. He can throw up to 24 inches. And then there's one for a Necron one, which I don't really care about. And then we go into formation. So we have a Centurion um, formation, uh, Dreadnought Formation, there's a whole bunch of these, I'm not going to read for all of them, otherwise I'd be here all day. There's a really cool Death Watch one, which has these anti-phasic rounds, which means um, Necron players have to re-roll saves to get back up. But uh, There's also a Drop Pod, which is for the Ruse, um, Land Raider Spearhead, Line Breaker Squadron, um, I think Antaro Cronus's one's coming up, yeah, the Spear of Macrog. Um, Honor Guard, really cool one there, I really love my Honor Guard, you guys will know that when I do some more videos, and if you've also seen my Minus Cow Guard video um, from a while ago. And then we head into the Necrons. I'm going to skip for all the Necrons, I don't really care too much for them, unless I'm going to be killing them. And then we've got some final little pieces of artwork here, which you guys will probably want to see. And then just an appendices, and that's basically it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing. I did read through the entire thing. I found it a very good read. Um, a lot of the objectives and stuff I probably won't get around to playing. Because there's only a few Necron players I know. And at the moment I have to go through and repaint all of my Ultramarines. So on a side note, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. And I'll be doing a whole bunch more to do with the new Space Marine updates. So if you guys want to check that out, just click the link I might put here. Or I'll put some annotations and you guys about to click that. Or you can head back to the main Space Marine video and click the annotations there to get linked to the new videos. Uh, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until I see you next time, see you later.